we will now show the components of our system. This is a main control unit. Power supply of GSM and Arduino. This is tank 1 with fertilizer. Inside, we have submersible pump and water level sensor and a float sensor to determine if it is critical level. This is this is tank 2 clear water. It has on have submersible pump, water sensor level and a float sensor. Now we are going to our pipeline pipelines with hose connection of soil moisture. This is our sprinkler This is our soil moisture Soil moisture Sensor Paid sensor Okay Good morning again Now we will test our the proposed system now we will turn on the system uh, we will we will wait for about 20 seconds for Arduino to boot as you can see the system is now ready uh, but due to the consistent testing the system I uh, the plot is overly watered and the soil is has enough water so it won't function now we will test the system in a different manner now we will try the water refilling function of our system We will now lower the water the float sensor indicating that the water level is low. It says please refill tank 1. So the farmer or plant grower must now refill the water. If the water level sensor above the tank has sensed the water has gone up, it will say I, the system will say both tanks are ready we will now go to the second tank we will lower the same float sensor and wait for the message to pop up please refill tank 2 at the same manner, we will put the glass of water into the water sensor indicating that the water level is high enough. Both tanks are ready. We, are, we will now test the soil moisture sensor. We will wait for the system to get ready. The system is now ready. We will now put the soil moisture sensor into the dry soil. Your plants needs water. Now as you can see, the plants are currently being watered. We will now pour water into the soil moisture sensor.
and wait for the notification of the GSM module that the soil has enough water. Finish watering. As you can see, the sprinkles already stopped watering the soil. We will now test the pH sensor. We will now put the pH sensor into a vinegar which indicate that the soil's acidity is too high. Now we will wait for the system Soil is too acidic and currently being watered. Now, we will show you that the tank is working. Now, we will show you the sprinkler. Now we will put the pH sensor into a water with fertilizer to stabilize the acidity level. We need, to we need to dissolve the fertilizer to make sure that the solution is finished. We will now wait for the message of the system to pop up. pH level is now stable. As you can see, the pump has stopped and the sprinklers stopped watering.